Hi you all, welcome back to Kinder Crafty. Today I'm in my son's bedroom because I'm going to share with you how I recently organized his closet. So I have a cute story to share with you. This morning at breakfast, my little boy asked me what I was gonna do while he was at school. And he asked if I was gonna clean, and I said, no, yesterday, you know, mommy cleaned all day, so I think the house is pretty clean. He said, well, what are you gonna do? I said, I think I'm gonna film a video to share on my YouTube channel. And he said, I know what you can do. And I said, what? He said, you can share my closet, which I thought was darling, because he knows the kind of content I do. I've been doing it since he was one years old. He knew that I often share with you organization organizational tips, before and afters, that kind of thing. And he's so proud of his closet. And so, mommy's just a, just a little tip. Can I just tell you something? A lot of what we do at home goes totally unnoticed. And it's in little moments like these when you think all I did was buy a bookshelf, assemble it, and reorganize the closet. You didn't, don't think that is gonna, you know, make that much of a difference or an impact on anyone in the family. But let me tell you, he has shared his closet with everyone who has come over. The babysitter, my mom, my dad when he was in town. So he, this is his request that I share this with you. So of course, I'm gonna share it. Without further ado, let me show you. Um, I'm gonna show you the after. I don't have video um, coverage of the before. I only have a still that I took on my phone. So you will see that. And then I will walk you through um, everything that's in there current, in his closet currently. Okay, I'm rambling, let's get to it. Okay, let's open up these closet doors and dive in. The lighting is a little funny, you all. I tried to get it nice and bright in there so you could see everything, but it is making funny shadows, so I just, I apologize for that. Let's start all the way up on the top. I have his little suitcase um, stored up there because we don't need it very often. A bin of Lincoln Logs. This is for birthday gifts or last minute gift ideas that I can wrap in a hurry. I have um, two bins for sensory play. You all know how much I love sensory play. An empty bin so I have room to grow. And in this little um, bin, this is actually the current sensory play he was working on. It has hay and a horse ranch. I actually need to empty it out and put it up um, in those bins above where it belongs. He has a marble run, dress ups, hats, and bandanas and glasses and things like that. Play-Doh. These are all of his jackets up high. So we have a blazer, two sweatshirts, a vest. Um, that's his raincoat. And there's an empty hanger because he's wearing a jacket today. We finally have fall weather. His heavy winter coat, um, a leather jacket, and a bomber jacket. This is his hamper hoop right above his hamper. The same hamper he's had since he was a baby in his nursery. This is the shelf that I built. Very inexpensive shelf from Walmart. So easy to assemble. Mamas, do not be intimidated. Go get one, they're easy. And then here where he can reach, we have all of his shirts for school. Polos, long sleeve shirts, and a few sweaters. Down below, we have this shelf that I had already on hand and four pairs of shoes. Sandals, Crocs, two pair of sneakers, and he's actually wearing his Converse to school today. And then on the shelf, let's start on the top um, of his little bookshelf in there, his toy shelf. We have Batman. We have a die cast car that he just got when Pawpaw was here. He has his police car that has all kinds of lights and sounds. His excavator does too. He has a real tool kit with real tools in it. He's very proud of it. And then this little car kit um, has a battery powered um, drill that you can assemble the car and take it apart. We have a cash register, a clock, and his little medical bag. I made this for him years ago. There's a video somewhere in the Kinder Crafty archives somewhere. Here we have Tinker Toys. And those are Melissa and Doug like paint with water kits um, that you can take on the go. All of his puzzles, including this little Melissa and Doug wooden um, stacker. It's like a parking garage. He wasn't ready to get rid of it, so we kept it. Down here we have big trucks. His Genode uh, fire truck, 
two Melissa and Doug carriers, an excavator and a car carrier. His wooden trolley from when he was obsessed with Daniel Tiger's neighborhood. Um, I got that for his third birthday. Two bins of Legos. These were actually Legos that came out of my classroom. He has tons of more Legos in the living room. That's a whole different organization project in and of itself. So let's pan out from top to bottom so you can see it. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this organization project. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.